Let's go to the US, uh, a trans activist who was uh, guilty of a heinous crime. And there's now a question around whether the FBI tried to hide details of the mo motives behind the mass shooting she was guilty of. Audrey Hale, who wanted to be called Aidan Hale, killed three nine-year-old children and three adults at a Presbyterian elementary school in March 2023 before being shot ki and killed by uh, police. Now her manifesto has uh, been revealed and it shows an obsession with gender ideology and sex and transgender politics, plans to target what she called white privileged people and those who don't believe in transgender rights. Uh, Stephanie, this is a uh, tricky one, but there's accusations of particularly the FBI, but also the, the local police force of trying to hide this information from the public. Look, I think there's an I have an element of sympathy because there is a search in um, <clears throat> particularly in gun violence and you don't want these things copied. I think the fact that the media and so many of these issues are weaponised, kids are told they're oppressed, and you're dealing with incredibly vulnerable children mm. who are struggling with deep trauma, some have very big mental health issues that they need support with. What I think they should be actually releasing is her support networks in the lead-up to the shooting. Are there people on the web that are encouraging this sort of violence? I mean, parents have the right to know what is going on, particularly on the web with these communities, how radical is it? This is information that will perhaps help them support their own children who are going through similar things. Stephanie Bastian, thank you so much for your time this evening. Thanks, Rita.